Welcome everyone. I just thought I'll show you a very interesting um, honey extractor that um, I found at a garage sale. Uh, so it's not something we've built um, and we can't take credit for it but if whoever's watching these videos if it was yourself please let us know because uh, we'd love to give you credit for it. So what have we got here? This is very, very sturdy, large, four-frame honey extractor built with stainless steel, cages that rotate, it has a drum by the looks of it uh, from a washing machine, very, very sturdy on a very heavy-duty trolley that's industrial strength, I mean this thing is... Oh, goodness, I would say good 40, 50, 40, 50 kilos. The electricals um, are interesting to say the least, but um, here's the motor that turns the whole unit. Um, we've played around with it a little bit to make it work um, a little better, but uh, so essentially, you have a plug plug it into power, that seems to be going into this um, power point uh, that you turn on and off, which leads to what we've done is we've added a little speed controller to electrically, look this is not a safe product by any means but um, for a homemade little extractor it's fine to give you any ideas. Um, so as this turns, it turns the cages, it's a four-way extractor, we managed to fit small, uh, medium and large, well large was a problem, uh, but you couldn't fit large frames inside these cages, so we added these little stainless steel, uh, I wish I could get a better view of it, little stainless steel um, uh, holders in there, and the full large frames actually fit on the outside, on the inner side of these cages. Now these swing, I think this was meant to be a fully reversible system, but uh, it doesn't work. Uh, the cages were calculated incorrectly by the looks of it and it just doesn't um, turn them fully to the other side. Um, this again is a stainless steel, all the bolts are very heavy duty and it has a rim up the top and a rim down the bottom that holds this big drum. Um, down the bottom here is the, right there is the, the hole, uh, the honey gate that allows you to put the honey out. So you slide your bucket under here and the honey gate is right there. So open it and close it. And it's on a swivel, literally industrial strength, wheels, that um, cast wheels, this thing can carry a lot of weight, clearly. A bit of plastic on top just to protect the electricals, and uh, yeah, it's not a bad design. It works, it extracts honey okay, I certainly wouldn't use this as a, as a, uh, <laughs> you know, extractor for your everyday use, but we thought we'd buy it, have a look at it, cost a hundred bucks, um, just to get a few ideas, um, certainly, yeah, certainly works, but not, not great, certainly doesn't meet uh, any of the health regulations, safety is questionable, etc, etc, um, but worth a look, hope you like it, we'll show you how it works in the next video. And uh, this is how it looks. So this is the clear, no cinnamon. Now um, you just let that sit for, well, it takes usually about two weeks. Here's the, the soft one to be able to squeeze. 